Hello again. We're ready to get going with our dishcloth. And I'm just finding the beginning of my yarn here. There it is. So I'm going to put that off to the side and start working from the center of the skein because I pulled all of that from the center. I'm using Lily Sugar and Cream Scents in the color Powder, which is white because I want to have a white doily dishcloth. That's the pattern we're using for Nat. Doily style dishcloth is on the Yarnspirations website www.yarnspirations.com So use your double pointed needle and it says to cast on eight stitches. So I'm going to use my long tail cast on one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I'll get it on. I've got eight stitches here. It says to, to divide that onto three needles. So right now I've got all eight stitches on one needle. So all I have to do is just slide over. I think I'll do three on that one. And I'll leave two on the center one. And then I'll flip around to the other side here. And I'll get these three over here. There. And um, now it's time to join it in the round. So to join it in the round, you get the yarn coming down in the middle like that. And just hold all these and you get the um, what is on the right side that should be what's coming from the ball so I'm going to move my yarn over here it doesn't tell you in the pattern that you should join in the round but you need to join in the round here so the way I join in the round is I get my ends here one that's right put that one there left the last stitch, bring it over here, and then I get the what was the last stitch and bring it across. So I just let them switch places. That's how I like to do my join in the round. And then I tug this tight, and now it's going to be going round and round and round. And I have another video that you can watch that shows more clearly how to go round and round. All right, it's, and you just look um, on my channel, Uncoine, U-N-K-O-I-N-E, and just search through my videos for Join in the Round, and you'll see a more clear video about that, because I used really big needles and really big yarn for that other video. So watch that to help you join in the round. So now I'm ready to go. I'm all hooked together, and it's in a circle. So I'm ready to work. It says to place a marker, but... I don't use a marker because I use this tail that I started with as my marker. And when I come back around to that tail, I'll know that I finished around. I'm going to cut it a little bit shorter. <coughs> See my tail there? That'll be my stitch marker. Round one. Knit through the back of the loop of each stitch to the end. So you're not knitting, you're knitting in the back loop. So you go through the back. You would be going through the front normally like this, but now we're going to go through the back. Uh oh, my yarn got all twisted. All right. So we're going to go all the way around. We're going to knit through the back loop. Oh, I split my yarn there. There, that's better. So just knit all the way around through the back loop. And you can look up other videos online for knitting through the back loop if you need to. And if you ever come across a pattern that says NTBL, that's what that means, knitting through the back loop. So now I'm ready for the next needle. And 
and the first row is always the hardest because everything's really tight and it's close to that center hole and it's just harder to work so just be patient with yourself it's like that with every um, design that you knit in the round when you start from the center everything feels real tight at first especially with cotton yarn because cotton yarn doesn't have any stretch at all so it's kind of fiddly to work with okay so now we come to the tail and we know we finished that round so now we're ready for round two round two says yarn over knit one eight times so we're going to do yarn over knit one yarn over knit one over and over and over again and the way we're going to know it's eight times is because there's eight stitches going round and round here so to start off with a yarn over is is kind of complicated for beginning knitters we're like how do you do a yarn over if you don't have anything to do there so just set the yarn the, the needle here at the beginning just put it there just set it there and wrap the yarn around that's all you do I'll show you that again you just put the needle where you're gonna use it wrap the yarn and then it says knit one so these are just gonna be knitting regular we're not knitting through the back loop anymore just knit a regular stitch and we yarn over and we knit one yarn over Now we're ready for the next needle. And once again, we're just going to be setting the, the needle there. Just put the needle there. Yarn over. Knit one. Yarn over. Knit one. And I'm ready for the last needle. Set the needle there. Yarn over, knit one, yarn over, knit one, yarn over, knit one. And we're done. So that was all of round two. So now we're ready for round three. Round three says to knit. And you'll notice on the design that it says round three and all odd rows so all these other rows you'll see it says round four round six round eight round ten so you're going to have to remind yourself that you always have to knit a row after each one of these rows so that's just something to keep in mind as you go with this pattern so for now we're going to knit a row around <laughs> these are not rows anymore these are rounds Silly me. Wait a minute, I go the right way? No, I didn't. See, it's easy to get confused here. Whenever you set your project down and you pick it back up, look and see where your yarn is coming from. My yarn is coming from the right, so I need to keep going to the left. And I almost made it go backwards. That would have been bod. Very bod. So just knit all your stitches here, and that's round three. And when you switch to the next needle, pull that first stitch kind of snug here. And it'll keep you from having, um, uh, I can't even remember what they call that. I used to know it like it was nobody's business, but I can't remember right now. You have spaces in there that stand out in your design, so try to pull it snug for the first stitch or two. Ladders, that's what they call it. You get ladders. That will help you to avoid getting ladders. So now we've finished round three. So that was round one, two, and three. And I will see you in the next video when we start round four. And this is how your stuff looks right now. It doesn't look like much. It looks like a belly button. <laughs>
Hello there. <laughs> anyway, I'll see you in the next video for round four.